Setting out on a 27,000 mile circumnavigation of North and South America, a team of sailors, citizen scientists, and educators departed Anacortes, Washington on May 3rd. The goal, to advance knowledge of marine biology, meteorology, and oceanography, to educate students and the public, and to raise awareness of ecosystems, conservation, and sustainability. You know, we're, this is, we're one island surrounded by one ocean. APLUW scientists and engineers are partners on this journey. Having instrumented the 48-foot one ocean sailboat with technologies to gather atmospheric and oceanographic measurements, and to beam the data back to laboratory computers in Seattle throughout the 14-month journey. This is a MicroSwift buoy. Toss it in the water and it transmits data back to satellite. And we can see what the, what the wave height is. One Ocean's route retraces that sailed by Ocean Watch and Captain Mark Schrader starting in 2009. We completed that in 2010, 199 days, Seattle to Seattle, and it turned out to be a pretty successful trip. With the help of University of Washington's Applied Physics Lab, the Applied Physics Lab has instruments on top of the mast and um, some data that's coming in right now. For this voyage, a weather station and infrared radiometer, which senses the temperature of the sea surface, are mounted to the top of one ocean's mast. And the only way you can measure that temperature right at the surface is with an infrared radiometer, which is the main instrument we have up there. I could show you one here. Oceanographer Andy Jessup will use these observations to estimate the cool skin effect. This is the temperature of the ocean right at the very surface, which is usually a few tenths of a degree cooler than the temperature just a millimeter below. Though seemingly small, on a global scale, the effect is important for estimating the uptake of atmospheric CO2 by the ocean. Recent studies in the open ocean have revealed the magnitude of the effect. The One Island, One Ocean Expedition is an unprecedented opportunity to study the cool skin effect in the coastal ocean from the equator to high latitudes.